Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea from Drea's Bears. I'm just here to do a really quick um, share and f quick little flip throughs of um, some journals and some other items that I have uh, that will be going into a show. Um, it's an online show. It's actually um, a doll and teddy bear artist show. It's um, happening on the 10th of December, so that uh, is tomorrow because uh, today is the ninth that I'm filming and it begins at noon Eastern Standard Time. It runs through the weekend to Sunday December the 12th uh, and it closes at 8 p.m. So among some of uh, these items I will also have uh, some of my handmade um, and hand-designed um, artist bears. Um, I've got a couple of bunnies and some other things there as well, but they're a little harder to show on video. So I'm just gonna show you some of the journals and things that I've created specifically for the show. And I will link the, um, the, the information about the show below. So you can just click on the link and, uh, and find the show um, all weekend. So thank you so much for coming and let's just get right to it. So I've got a couple of, um, miniature journals that I've made um, and one that I've done specifically well these are all specifically for the show so let's uh, let's just go ahead and get started I'm gonna start here so I'll move these guys out of the way and this um, is a journal that I've made using a kit from Louise Heinzel uh, I honestly cannot pronounce the name of the kit, so I'm also going to link it below. Um, this this journal will be exclusively available in the uh, in the online show coming up. Um, so you can kind of see. I hope there's not too much glare here. The beautiful little squirrel holding. I think it's a jam jar or a cookie jar. Um, standing uh, under a beautiful little mushroom here and I've done if you have seen any of my other videos this is um, a design a cover design that I originally did for uh, some Lorna Taylor journals that I did um, but it worked so well for this particular kit as well and just showing you there's two signatures here and the fabric is this beautiful oak leaf fabric just lovely cotton um, I have to say thank you to my mom because she happened to find that when we were shopping at Lens Mills a couple of weeks ago and it's absolutely perfect. So just getting right on inside, you can take a look in the front cover. Um, there's a lovely little pocket with a sweet little bunny and a little surprise here of some mushrooms, a journaling card and a sweet little tag with a weasel or a ferret on it. Um, all of the tags and journaling cards are lined with tea stained cardstock or paper and everything is acid free. Um, there's a cute, oh, here's Mr. Bean here. Well, his name is Captain, but I call him Bean. He's come for a little visit, so hopefully he doesn't <laughs> cause too much shadow. Um, so here's a little flip up, a little extra journaling space here, and just again, a tea stained cardstock, a little extra spot there, um, blank space here for journaling. Here is, you silly guy, move over. Um, here is a paper clip, an altered paper clip uh, on the page here. There's a sweet little fox and I've done a little, just a scrappy little notebook using tea stained paper, some leftover. Um, honestly, this is Amazon packaging, uh, so it really came in handy. And I've just torn the pages to make them look really rough and just stapled in this really fun maple leaf um, in the back just to give it a bit of interest and it's really I don't know if you can hear it but it's really nice and crinkly so if you love crinkle sounds of paper that is the little notebook for you and this is just a, a nice little altered paper clip oh I help it would help if I actually clipped it onto the page I'll do that a little bit later so turning the page just some um, book pages tea stained paper for writing um, some ledger paper. I've done a little collage here. Um, these are all pieces from her kit. Um, just added some cheesecloth behind. Some old, um, I think this is a lesson plan, an old teacher's lesson plan book that I found. More tea stained paper, some grid paper. Here's a nice little uh, page from Louise's kit. Another tuck spot, another pocket with a journaling card and a little Pussy cat tag. She's got, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but she's holding a perfume bottle. She's spraying herself with perfume there. 
and just nice uh, this is a nice thick page here um, so you could probably glue more pockets on this or you could probably even do some mixed media on this page cute little very dapper raccoon with his mushroom and a little corner tuck here some doily and more tea stained pages here's that little kitty cat again hiding behind some mushrooms there's the center of the, the first signature. So there's two signatures in this book. Cute little mouse with his bowler hat. I love that guy. Um, some more writing space. There's lots, I, I, as always, I like to include a lot of places for you to journal or add pictures or sketches. Here's another little hidden tuck spot, or not tuck spot, sorry, journaling card. I apologize. I've had a, it's, it's Thursday night around 1130 and it's, been one of those weeks that's just kind of worn me right out so if I'm a little stumbly over my words today I apologize here's another little pocket with a journaling card and a cute little squirrel that was on the cover of the book I've done some sewing details uh, just to give it some texture I love I love sewing details in journals so I always try to include that when I can Lots of more writing paper. Here's another little altered paper clip with again that cute little squirrel and a little guest check there. Another book page. Here's a corner tuck. You can hide something in there. There's the little weasel. And that's the back of the first signature. Here is the beginning of the second signature. This is a belly band that I made from an offcut of a misprint page. Uh, it accidentally only printed actually this section of the page so I thought that was perfect to use as a belly band and I've done another one of my little very roughly torn um, recycled Amazon packaging you know notebooks here and it's just stapled together and I've just again added another little maple leaf there and that just tucks right on in there there's that lovely little raccoon again another pocket and some journaling tags some really funky tea stain paper here this I actually used um, also um, coarse salt like um, kosher salt almost I think it was actually sea salt um, and it created this really cool pattern in the um, in the paper or on the paper I really liked that uh, more vintage papers some music paper here's another cute little bunny rabbit and here is an envelope that's attached with another altered paper clip and I've just done a quick little collage on this particular envelope and inside are some little goodies that you can play with I'll leave that as a surprise for whoever whoever adopts the journal oops excuse me I'm getting stuck there's that cute little mouse and that's just a flip out journaling spot as well grid paper this is just more journaling paper there's a nice little bag you can use that to hide things in and a little collage that I did with uh, that lovely squirrel that's on the cover again and just some leftover scraps from another project this is um, a crocheted tablecloth some cheesecloth here and one of my little uh Oh my gosh, my words. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Notebooks again. And there's again that lovely little squirrel. Here's an altered paper clip. And here is my little lovely raccoon. Again, just one of those stapled together with another maple leaf. I've I've actually um, clipped it to the bottom here, and I'll show you why when I finish the flip through. You may have noticed when I first pulled the journal out, you might have you might know why I did this little tuck spot there another little pocket everything is little I say that all the time I'm aware <laughs> I'm so sorry and cute bunny rabbit more writing paper here's the back side of that paper bag if it's um I've just left it closed but if you wanted to use it as a tuck spot again you could um take a pair of scissors and just cut a thin slice off of this to open up the bag this way or you could do the same thing across the top it might be a little more difficult trying not to get your blade stuck in here your scissors stuck in here but then you could use it as a top tuck and and uh, not have to think about things maybe falling out that way or you could just leave it shut as it is I'm sure there's lots of other creative ways you can use that as well here's another altered paper clip 
with the lovely Dapper Bunny and his pocket watch. And these are all um, pages. These ones here are from a garden book and some of them have recipes, which is kind of fun. That's a nice crinkly page. Here's another sewn page with another tuck spot. Vintage book pages again, music paper, lots of similar items here. I seem to have paper clipped two pages together with another altered paper clip. Let's see. Oh yes, just a little collage of a mushroom and a cute little, um, this is just an image of a button, but it almost looks very three-dimensional actually. And there's the other side here with the snail and he's reading the mail. Oh, it's snail mail. I just realized that. That's so cute. Snail mail. And the back of the back, final signature and another flip up um, journaling card. And the very back page, again, there's a, a pocket with a couple of tags in there, raccoon and bunny. And I showed you the back already. So if I flip the book this way, I think you can see kind of why, oh, I didn't put that back in right, but why I've clip, uh, clipped the little notebooks the way I have so that the maple leaves stick out almost framing the journal, which I thought was kind of a cute idea. But you can honestly move these, these notebooks around and have them wherever you want or take them out of the journal completely. I just really liked the look of that for presentation. So that's the first journal that I will have available in uh, the, the online show. And then I've done a couple of um, just very simple journals. These are really just made with recycled packaging. This is a Smarties box. So if my Canadian friends will know what I mean when I say Smarties. Um, in America, uh, I think you may have Smarties now, I'm not sure. But um, I think what you call Smarties, we call Rockets up here. Smarties are just little candy coated uh, ch chocolates, almost like M&Ms, but um, a little bit different. Uh, so this is a Smarties box and I'm not sure what came in this particular box, but I thought what a fun way to recycle. And I found these beautiful um, copyright free images. Uh, these are vintage photographs of little girls with their bears. And I've just done a, a quick little, each, each one has, oh, excuse me, there's fluff there. Um, four signatures in it. I've just done this to cover the signature uh, stitches. And this is a piece of that, that um, crochet tablecloth. And then the back, it's, this is a uh, scrapbook paper. And then I've used, uh, this is a 100% silk, beautiful silk, silk ribbon. It's just gorgeous and soft. And you can see how beautifully it just falls. I love it. And it's very plain on the inside. This is just four signatures of tea stained paper. That's all it is. Uh, just for reference, all of the measurements are in the link um, in my show, in the show. So if you go to my little link, which is Drea's Bears, you'll, you'll see, um, my name under there and you can just follow that link and it'll take you to my shop basically in, in the show. So there's this little one of the girl with her little bear hugging around her shoulder. And I just love this one. It's a girl on, um, I think it's, it looks like a stife, um, standing on all fours and it's a wheel like it's got wheels on it so it's kind of one of those rideable rideable bear uh toys and i just lo love her hat in this it's just the cutest little image hopefully you can see that okay it's not too dark and this one's a little bit longer so you can see them side by side this one's a bit taller but it's essentially the same construction so there's the crochet same scrapbook paper same beautiful silk ribbon and the same on the inside. There's no pockets or anything. This is just one of those little notebooks that you might just, you know, keep a track of, you know, shopping lists or to-do lists, or, you know, you could still use this as an actual journal. If you're a junk journaler, um, this would be a fun challenge to use a miniature journal like this to do collages in. It's always good to challenge ourselves. And with the new year coming, we might want to play with that a little bit. And then this one is also made out of uh, Smarties box, a chocolate box here, uh, but I've gone into a little bit more detail. This uh, particular kit that I used is from uh, an Etsy shop called Pixie Dust Files, and again, I'll link them underneath. I think it, this is all of her um, her mushroom kit. I think it's called mushroom. 
uh, junk journal kit or something like that, but I will post it underneath and it's it's just a fabulous kit. It's very whimsical and fun and I've just used some vintage trim that um, my friend Jane gave to me a while ago uh, just to cover up the spine. So on the inside, this one needs a real flip through, so hopefully we can see this okay. Um, I'm not going to take everything out, but there's little tags in the front cover, so this is a nice little pocket with a rabbit on a mushroom. Here's a little bunny painting, the toadstools tea stained paper, some uh, lined paper. This actually, this lined paper is from My Porch Prints. It's from a Christmas kit, but I really like the way it went here. Uh, mushroom morels, I think they are. Here's a, a double pocket page. That's the center of the first signature. There's four signatures in here, and there's a couple of journalings. Um, this is a journaling card and some tags for journaling on. The backs of them are all, again, lined with tea stained paper, so you can write on them. And here's a little butterfly. It says B is for butterfly. And the butterfly is blue, which I think is fun. Um, here's a cute little tuck spot I made out of a, a leftover image. I just cut out these little toadstools. And there's a cute little, sorry about the shadows, um, a cute little owl and her owlette. And on the back again, tea stained paper. So you could write a very teeny tiny note there. More tea stained paper. There's a nice little piece that comes with the kit and a ladybug on some mushrooms. Here's the center of the second signature. So again, it's a double pocket. Here I've got a couple of tags and journaling spots and another journaling tag here. I'll just fold this one out so you can see what this particular one looks like and tea stained paper on the back. Some of the uh, tags are, are quite big. Actually, I'll show you this one because it's very cool. I think it's really fun. It's a um, little squirrel and a cute little bird and and a deer with mushrooms growing on his back. Because why not? And there's another little tag in there as well. Oh, see, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, moving on. Lots of tea stained paper again. A bunch of places for writing. There's some more mushrooms. Some lined paper on the back. I love this little guy. He's a very regal squirrel holding a nut and wearing a crown. And this is the center of the third signature. And this is cute on this, the, um, the draped, uh, it's not a saddle, but the draped portion here over the fox's back, it says the little fox taxi service. So isn't that cute? And he's giving an owl a ride. I wonder what he charges. A taxi ride. More, more places for writing. Here's a tuck spot I made with one of the images. It's a, a little owl. Um, I've put that on cardstock so it's nice and sturdy. And this is just another tag, tea stained paper, mushroom snail. This is a wee tiny little additional notebook or journal that I've made because I need to do that for some reason. So here's a cute little book and I've actually sewn this together on my sewing machine um, down the center. I don't know if there's the stitches there. You can see I've just stitched it right down the back and there are the cute little images. B is for egg and F is for flower and that just hangs on the side of one of the pages. I will paper clip that in. I had intended to do that but my paper clips have gone walkabout at the moment. A couple more tea stained pages. This is just a leftover scrap from one of the other pieces of the kit. There's the center of the last signature. Here's a fun little tuck spot that I haven't tucked anything into. I don't know if I've even got anything to tuck into. Here's a cute little flowery piece of paper and he just you can just tuck something in behind him there. Obviously this is not the thing to tuck behind him but he's quite fun. He's got um. Uh, captain's hat, I think. He's all dressed in uniform. There's a cute little bunny playing the violin, and this is the very back page, so there's a little squirrel here and another little tag in the back. This one says B is for bird. There, oh, I realize I'm probably pulling myself off camera. I'm so sorry. I hope we get all of that. Um, so that's the flip through, oops, of this little journal. And again, this was made with images from Pixie Dust Files. So those are the three little guys. And then last but not least, um, I also 
do lino printing. Um, these are some of my bare images. I, I haven't got my other images out at the moment, but I do landscapes and things as well. But these are just my more fun, playful uh, pieces for the show. And since it's a doll and bear show, I thought I would include my bears. Um, these are all hand cut by me. These are actually the very first, second and third lino cuts I've, I ever did when I, f I first learned how to do it by a wonderful artist named Juliana Hawk. She lives very close to me in um, the Marchmount area at, of, of Ontario. And uh, these were just so much fun. I'd never laid a blade to lino before. Um, and so I had quite a lot of fun printing them up. He's such a funny, he's such a funny little grumpy looking bear. And this is a little bear dreaming of acorns. Um, as I, I, I researched, um, of course, originally lino was um, wood cutting, I think, Japanese wood cutting. And so I tried to create images that looked, these two pieces anyways, that looked as though they were actually carved in wood or represented wood in some way. So this one is actually called Bear in the Woods because <laughs> he kind of does look like he's in in the grain of the wood. So these uh, are also for sale in my in my online shop uh, as part of the Doll and Teddy Bear Artist online show. Um, so thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, please post them below and I will do my best to get back to them as soon as I can. And uh, do check the link out. And even if you're not necessarily interested in either dolls or bears, um, I think you'll you'll be able to appreciate uh, the the work that goes into um, creating such a beautiful works and there are artists from all over the world and they are extremely talented so it's definitely worth even just stopping by to take a look at the uh, the talent that is out there that you may or may not have been aware of before so thank you so much for joining me tonight uh, or today whenever you're watching this and um, have a really great day I hope you're you're having an awesome week and it's getting close to Christmas so I'm hoping everyone is safe and happy and I will see you again soon bye now